Hi guys and welcome back to Naturally Ellie. Today I have an unboxing for you. So over Christmas I had added a whipped cream canister on my wish list and I actually got it. So I'm going to be unboxing that for you today for the first time. So here it is. It is the Cream Whipper 500 milliliter canister. It's got some helpful hints here. So it says, before filling the whipper, please cool well under cold water or in the refrigerator. Only use soluble ingredients, insoluble substances such as seeds, pulp, etc. Prevent the closure of the delivery valve or might impair the proper functioning of the Fajian cream whipper. Number three, for sweetening, it is best to use powder sugar or liquid sweeteners. Granulated sugar or salt should be first be dissolved in water or milk. Use powdered eyes or liquid spices only. Number four, overshaking will make pure heavy cream too stiff. Wherefore, please shake only three to four times. Do not shake every time before dispensing. Please shake recipes consisting of mixtures of cream and other liquids well and more frequently. When dispensing, always hold the whipper upside down, decorating nozzle pointing downwards. Otherwise, pressure will escape and some cream will remain inside the whipper. Number five, for best result, serve immediately upon dispensing. And number six, for long time storage, please keep head and bottle separately. Attention, please read the instruction book of the more uses item. I'm guessing whoever wrote this English was not their first language because that please read the instruction book of the more uses item. Yeah, that's not really proper English. Uh, I also don't know what they mean by for long time storage. I don't know if that means long time storage of whipped cream that you've made or just long time storage of the canister itself when you when it's not in use. So it has a little something here too so I'll read that. It says the cream whipper is a family general kitchenware and easy to use. It can riches your life. You can create many kinds of soft sweet desserts, ice cream, the sweet and sour mousses by the product. Mousses is not spelled correct. And it is very fit for whipping the cream. The egg heavy, the egg heavy cheese, sweet mousses, and so on. Also, you can use it easily. Before use, please read the instruction book carefully at first and operate according to instruction book. So again, this must have been translated from another language because that's not exactly proper English or proper spelling in all cases. So that's what's on the box. So now let's see what's inside. So there's another box inside the box. Or at least a little cap. So here we have the canister in a plastic bag with the instructions. And then it has the decorating tips. So this is like a little handle type thing. This is one of the decorating tips. You can see. Here is another decorating tip. And this is the third and final decorating tip. I'm guessing this is like the big flowery one. And then it comes with a little brush to be able to clean out the tips. Okay, so let's untwist this here. Okay, so 
So on the bottle, there is a max fill line. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to know where that's at when you're pouring the liquid inside. There's no little window or anything. There are no lines inside either. Okay, so that's the bottle. And then here is the cap. There's some kind of plastic ring in there. We're going to leave it there because I don't know if that's supposed to come out or not. And it looks like it's attached to a bigger ring. So that might be to help you pull out the ring, maybe for cleaning. Again, we'll look at the instructions before we go. In order to be able to use this, you also need to have chargers. So I'm going to go through this, and I did get the chargers as well, so I'll, I'll take that out as well so you can see what that looks like. So what we have here is an instruction card. So the first part of it is just pictures of each of the steps. So that is the plastic ring that I mentioned, so we'll find out what we do with that. And then this is the charger that I mentioned that you'll need, and it goes inside of this, which then attaches, I guess, to this part here. Yes, so the tips attach here so that when you're making, sorry, so the tips will attach onto here. There we go. You'll get the charger, you'll put it in with this, and then when you're making your whipped cream, you're going to hold it upside down and squeeze the trigger like that. So it's showing that the ring does need to be there. It would help if I'm in camera. It's showing that the ring does need to be there as you're closing it. So again, we'll find out what we're doing here. So I'll share these instructions with you here and then I will read them as quickly as possible. So thank you for choosing this versatile and high quality cream whipper. With this universal tool, you can create a multitude of light desserts, creams, and sweet and sour mousses. Before using the cream whipper, and please read the following instructions carefully. So again, translation issues, there's a comma there, but there really shouldn't be a comma there. So it, it makes for a little bit of jerky reading when you're trying to get through the instructions. So instructions for use, number one, when using your whipper for the first time, or if you have not used it for a while, rinse the bottle first with warm, then with cold water before filling it with cream. Number two, fill in well chilled fresh cream or other ingredients depending on the recipe. Do not fill the cream whipper with more than the permissible quantity indicated on the bottle. Half pint, 0.3 liter, pint, 0.5 liter, depending on the model. So, as I mentioned, this one is a 0 0.5 liter canister. When preparing recipes, please dissolve solids first in order to avoid the formation of clouds. Number three says place the gasket inside the head and screw head onto bottle evenly and firmly. The head is in place correctly when no thread is visible. So do not cross thread. Number four, insert cream charger, which is 8 grams of N2O, into the charger holder. For guaranteed quality, use cream chargers. However, if necessary, you can also use LIS or ISI standard 8 gram N2O cream chargers. So again, a little bit of hard reading because this was clearly translated from another language or written by somebody who English is not their first language. So moving on, number five, screw the charger holder onto the inlet valve value. See figure three. So that's there. That's figure three. So they're talking about screwing that on until the charger content is released with a hissing sound. So when you put the charger on and screw it in, you're going to hear a hissing sound. 
Use one charger for each filling. Shake whipper briskly four to five times. So the box said three to four times. This is saying four to five times. So in a vertical direction. So you want to make sure that you're shaking it up and down and not side to side. Or, you know, tilting it sides like that. When using well-cooled light cream or other mixture, shake up to 10 times, unscrew the charger holder and charger. That doesn't make sense to me. When using well-cooled light cream or other mixture, shake up to 10 times, unscrew the charger holder and charger. The light hissing sound while unscrewing is normal. Remove and discard empty steel chargers, which are recyclable as scrap metal. So it's telling you to shake it up and then get rid of the charger that's going to be in here. And that's before you even dispense any of the whipped cream. So that means that you don't keep the charger attached while there's cream in there. So if you make it and it's not fully used, you're not going to have the charger still sitting on your, on your container. Number six, to dispense, hold whipper vertically, which I showed you before, you're gonna have it upside down. So you're gonna hold it this way and you have your nozzle on there. So you're gonna have make sure it's upside down. Decorating nozzle pointing downwards, about one centimeter above the surface. I'm not good with centimeters, so just hold it slightly away from whatever you're going to be spraying it on, similar to if you're using like a ready whip or other kind of can heavy cream, uh, whipped cream canister. To decorate, press the lever lightly. So that's, this is the lever here. Press the lever lightly. If whipped cream, mousse cream is not firm enough, shake once more. When using later, do not shake again. So I guess after you store it, don't shake it again. But if when you're about to use it and it's not as firm as you want it to be, just shake it. It says once more. Number seven, always keep your cream whipper in the refrigerator. Never in the deep freezing compartment or the freezer. So don't freeze it, just refrigerate it. Number eight, storage when filled. Remove the decorating nozzle. Decorating nozzy. I guess that's a nozzy from the nozzle adapter. Rinse thoroughly and put the nozzle back on. So between uses, you can leave the nozzle on, but you wanna make sure you take it off, rinse it out, and then put it back on. After use, place the cream whipper in the refrigerator. The content will stay fresh for several days. So it doesn't say exactly how many, but it's several days. Number nine, Cleaning and storage of the empty cream whipper before opening. Allow remaining pressure to escape by pressing the lever. Okay, so before you even open that, make sure you press your little lever to release any air pressure that's in there. Unscrew the head and remove head seal and decorating nozzle. I don't know what a head seal is. It doesn't tell me what figure to look at there. So I'm going to assume that this is the head seal. So this is that little ring, plastic ring I mentioned. Hold end of value. I think it's supposed to be valve. Inside the head while unscrewing nozzle adapter with the other hand. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Oh, I guess it's, there are these little kind of nozzle adapt, like ends. So I guess I mean hold that while you're unscrewing this so that this whole thing doesn't just keep twirling around. Thoroughly clean each individual component with a mild detergent and a brush and I showed you that it does come with its own little bottle brush. So if, you know, after a while you need to get rid of this, it's really just a regular bottle brush. You can go to any place that sells, um, like, 
baby bottles and you should be able to find something it might be a little bigger but it should still do the job do not clean any component of the cream whipper in boiling water some dishwasher detergents are very aggressive we therefore do not recommend to put cream whipper into the dishwasher okay and then after that there are a bunch of helpful hints that and safety measures and that continue all the way on the back so I'm not going to read all of that that's a lot of stuff to be reading I will share the picture so that if you want to take the time to read it yourself you can do that so this is the cream whipper canister as I mentioned you do need to use it with a charger so the chargers I received are here these are Whippet and 2O cream chargers so both things were on my Amazon wish list and my family we create Amazon wish lists for Christmas so that everybody gets what they want and nobody has to return something that they got that they didn't really want so to make sure everybody's happy we create our own wish list and these items were on my list so as you can see I have not opened this yet but I will do that for you so again these are n2o cream chargers this is a 24 pack there's lots of warnings and other information here on the side and over here it says that they've been in business for about 60 years so you know i guess it's a trusted brand of these things and then here on the back it has like description and some features so I'll read that really quickly it says whip it cream chargers are made in Europe bringing you uncompromising quality and flavor the world has come to know and love a single whip it cream charger propels more than double the volume of other brands perfect for topping off distinctive beverages or decadent desserts use whip it cream chargers to also infuse spirits and enticing cocktails or create luscious foams and sauces on any culinary concoctions. With Whip It, we bring your culinary imagination to life. And it says features made in Europe for premium quality, made from the highest grade 100% recyclable steel. You know, I like recyclable things. Find the purest food grade nitrous oxide gas and propels more than double the standard volume excuse me, filled with the purest. And then it says it's compatible with all standard cream dispensers. So even if you don't get the, the same uh, canister that I got, you can still use these for other canister brands. Okay, and then they have their website and an 800 number. So you can order things to call for questions and things like that. Okay, so now we are going to open this up. And the canisters are actually green like they are on the box. So, Okay, and there is a little, like a, a seal on the end there, which I did notice. If you open this here, there is, it's not exactly... A needle but it looks like it it something can screw onto it I don't know if you can see that really well so there's a little something in there so what you would do is you take your charger and the bottom part will go into here like this and then you screw it on. I'm not going to screw it on right now because I'm not using it. I don't want to waste a charger. But you'd screw it on and I guess as it gets tighter, that little screw top in there will puncture what's there to open it and release the gas. So there you have it. That is my Cream Whipper 500 millimeter canister. I wanted this because I'm trying to well, for two reasons. I do make my own whipped cream, but when you make it without a canister, you don't get the nice little designs that you can get with these little um, 
nozzles so now I can do decorations and things or just you know have a standard little swirl of my whipped cream and the other reason is because I'm trying to stop buying store-bought whipped cream in the canisters one so that I'm not spending money on that two so that I know what's actually in my whipped cream because again a lot of them have processed ingredients and things that I don't know what that is and that, that they're not healthy for you I can also make non-dairy based whipped cream if I want to so I can play around and have flavored whipped creams all kinds of things that I can do so that's why I wanted this I'm looking forward to playing around with it and coming up with some whipped creams I do do strawberry a lot because I always have organic strawberries on hand so that's a very easy one for me to make I can try chocolate with a little bit of cocoa powder 100% cocoa powder um, so as the instructions said and it makes sense if you're gonna make it and this is what I do already when I'm making my, normally I use my Nutribullet to make my whipped cream which means I have to spoon it onto whatever I'm having whether it's ice cream pancakes whatever and I do make it for my pancakes since I stopped using syrup so I will make my own homemade whipped cream and, and top my pancakes with that. So now I can have nice little designs again with, on my pancakes instead of a, a blob. The other thing is when I tend to make my own, it melts very quickly because the Nutribullet heats as it's whipping. So you're kind of getting, like this tells you to keep it chilled and make sure your liquid is chilled before you put it in there because you want it to be nice and cold to help get it firm. So I'm hoping that my whipped cream will be firmer and have more of a peak to it than it does when I make it in my Nutribullet. And then once I'm done, I can just stick this in the, in the fridge if I have any left. And if not, then you just take it apart, clean it up, and put it away until the next time I want to make some whipped cream. So there you have it. That's the unboxing of both my heavy cream excuse me, whipped cream canister and the chargers needed in order to actually whip the cream. So as I said, um, you, typically I make my whipped cream with heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. I've also made it with a heavy coconut cream. So I found that in a in a can in the supermarket in the organic section you can find that it's a little more expensive and also I'm trying to stay away from canned food because canned foods are oftentimes linked to carcinogens so the less that I have to use a canned product the happier I am so I tend to stick with heavy whipping cream I'm sure there are plenty of recipes out there that I'll be able to use now that I have this that will kind of whip it for me better than as I said my Nutribullet was doing. I will make videos once I'm actually making my whipped cream so that I can share with you guys and you can see how the product actually performs. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of my cream whipper and the chargers and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!